Hello, welcome to a Chip Off the Old Block Toys, and as you probably already know, I'm Jeff, and today is going to be the Death Star Mock Docking Bay 327 Video 1.2. So, just to explain, uh, there's going to be quite a few videos, so I'm going to do some numbering systems here, and that is the videos will start with 1, and then point 0.1 was yesterday's, because it was a video. Today's is 1.2. And when I do live streams, I'm going to do the first one as 2.1, 2.2, 2.3, and so on and so forth. So that way you'll know just by looking at the number, live stream, or whatever, you know, a video. So anyway, this video or this uh, build is important. And the space I was been, been allotted for is 30 by 60 inches, which is three road plates by six, or base plates, I should say, which is a total of 18. And... What I've done is yesterday I took out the old table saw and I was looking around for some wood, which wood's very expensive these days. <laughs> I gotta be honest, I don't know why I held on to this piece of wood behind me. Uh, let me tell you a story behind that. That is the bunk board to my kids' bunk bed. Now, my kids had taken a Sharpie to it, crayons and all that, and I went through the painstaking process of sanding it down and refinishing it, only to have them do it again. So, uh, when we moved to Germany in 2008, I threw away the bunk uh, bed because the military provided furniture when we got there, but I held onto the bunk board. Both of them, actually. <laughs> so, 2008, 14 years, I've held onto this board not knowing what I'm going to do with it. Sure glad I did because the price of wood, especially how thick that is, that's like a three quarters of an inch piece of plywood very sturdy that's like almost gold today it's almost worth its weight in gold almost um anyway uh, i held on to it for 14 years not knowing what to do with it yesterday i decided it's time to cut it down to size and use it but i also think it's kind of cool because i know where this board came from so it's kind of like my children are a part of this build so um you know even though they're not technically part of it they are part of it to me so i'm always gonna remember what that is so i went ahead and let me show you uh, well i guess i can't show you that well because uh, I'm not going to be able to focus the camera in very well, but this is indeed uh, 30 here. Uh, uh, Got to move the belly out of the way. Okay, there you go. By 60 inches, five foot exactly. And I went ahead and I did uh, sand this down. And I did that because, you know, as you can imagine, 14 years and about seven military moves, uh, this has got pretty hashed. And I actually sanded the edges too because I don't want to snag or anything like that. I don't like splinters. So we got that going. Oh, and by the way, I couldn't be wearing the most more appropriate shirt for this video. It is the Star Wars 1977, which is, which is the year that Episode 4, A New Hope, was released. And since this is based on the first Death Star and the first Millennium Falcon that Ultimate Collector series that Leo came out with. It's only appropriate that I wear the shirt that correlates with that. And I know I don't have enough pieces to start off um, to finish it. So, and this is going to be a double decker, and I'm doing that because I want to be able to do more to it. And well, I mean, Death Star is so huge, you could probably have uh, 200 levels, but I don't got the kind of time or money or room. So we're just going to do two levels, and I'm going to start the base as far as I can get, and when I run out of pieces, I'm just going to stop. And I know building mills plates isn't too exciting, but hey, I got to start somewhere. So why don't we just start now with the building? So I only did a time lapse for one of these because really you've seen one, the building of one, you've seen them all. So I did was able to build six of them. So that means I get a decent start. And I did go on BrickLink and I did order enough pieces just now to finish the rest of them. Now this is going to be a double decker, meaning there's going to be 
two different levels of the Death Star. And it means I'm going to need a whole lot more than what I ordered, but I have enough to start the lower level. So several of the live streams coming up is uh, one of them is going to be building the Ultimate Collector Series Millennium Falcon, the first version of it. And that'll probably take several, maybe uh, six, seven, maybe even eight, eight live, live streams. So we'll go ahead and do that. And the other thing that we'll do is we're going to go ahead and build this guy here. Uh, came out May the 4th for May the 4th Be With You. It is set number 75339. Just came out this year. 802 pieces for minifigures. Now, I'm not going to use the exact design of it, but it has a lot of the pieces that I need for the trash compactor. And because this is going to be a double decker, the trash compactor, excuse me, is going to be on this bottom level. And then there's going to be a hallway on the top with a broken grate that goes into the trash chute, just like the movie. So that's what's coming up for right now. And then when more pieces come in, we'll be able to do more. And the trash compactor, indeed, um, I'm going to have to tear up some of this floor for the mechanics, but I don't know exactly where it's going to go. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this row right here. And let me go ahead and do that. So I'm using four pins on each side. I'm hoping that'll be enough strength. Of course, like you saw behind me in the beginning of the video, I have the, um, the plywood, and the plywood will definitely help out with that. And let me just stick the connecting pieces here. Just a couple more pins and we'll be done here. Okay. Oh boy. Let's try it this way. Sometimes when you do these longer ones, like when I was doing my city mock, they just don't want to go in. The first try, you got to kind of finagle them, and right now I'm experiencing the same thing. There we go. So we've got a nice two by three base plate. So that's 20 by 30 inches. The only problem is I need 60 by 30 inches. So I need two more of these whole entire things. Like I said, I ordered enough pieces today. We'll be able to get to this. So um, the next uh, thing I think we're going to do is either we're going to do a live stream uh, building the Ultimate Collector Series Million Falcon, or we will do a video or a live stream building this. I'm not sure yet. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Also, you can leave a comment below and uh, turn on all notifications. That way you'll know whenever I put out a video. All right, guys, be good to each other. Stay safe out there, and I will certainly catch you on the next video.